NFL is fearing the Seattle Seahawks this season. And no, this is not just me coming from a Seahawks fan telling you guys that the Seahawks are a problem. The NFL world is afraid of the Seattle Seahawks because this team is about to take a step up in a direction that's going to be absolutely elite. The Seahawks, we have known throughout history of the Pete Carroll era, have done better than anyone else at stocking, reloading, and amping up their team because this team is ready to take that step up to Super Bowl contention. Super Bowl contention for the Seattle Seahawks group. And the NFL is afraid of that. Why? Well, let's see why. Let's start off with the defense. We know that if there's one thing and one thing that Pete Carroll's good at is building up a secondary. He's drafted Witherspoon, Tariq Woolen, Michael Jackson, just to name a few. The secondary, Kobe Bryant, the secondary is elite. And with that, a pass rush is incoming this season. So being able to put pressure on the quarterback with his Pete Carroll defense and the secondary and getting their defense back to a good elite level, especially needing to stop the run after last season, this is going to give the Seattle Seahawks a great big push to build on a team that already went to the playoffs last year. And not just that, not just that. We all know Pete Carroll is good at building the defense, but it looks like we got a wizard at the offensive coordinator position in Shane Waldron, who has turned around Geno Smith's career and turned him into the number one, number one in the whole entire NFL deep pass thrower last season. So with Geno Smith, how could he get better this year? How could he be better coming off an elite season? I'll tell you how by stocking them up at the wide receiver position. We know we had Tyler Lockett. We know we had DK Metcalf. But adding Jackson Smith and Njigba to this wide receiver core, we have the best three tight end, three wide receiver, I'm sorry, set in the NFL. Add our Noah Fant at tight end. Add adding depth to that running back position because it looks like our we're going to have Kenneth Walker, and we're going to replace our third down back or our secondary back from Rashad Penny, who was always injured, to Charbonnet, who Charbonnet, we don't know what he is yet. He's a rookie, but he is highly skilled. And Travis Homer out, welcome in a combination of DJ Dallas and Kenny McIntosh. And McIntosh looks like he's going to be a stud. So I think it's safe to say as Seahawk fans, the rest of the NFL, well, they're shaking in their boots. Because this team is about to make a run. And I know, I know, I know you're going to say the Eagles are the number one team in the NFC. And you're probably right. The Eagles are probably the number one team in the NFC. But let's not forget something here with the NFC. There is not that many elite quarterbacks. On the top of my, my just one hand here, I don't think I can safely say with health that there are five quarterbacks better than Geno Smith. Jalen Hurts right now is better than Geno Smith. Matt Stafford, well, we don't know if he's healthy. I can't count that. Kyler Murray, I don't know if he's healthy. I can't count that. Dak Prescott, I don't think he's that much better than Geno Smith. Jared Goff in Detroit, maybe, but I can't say safely he is better than Geno Smith. We might have the second best quarterback in the NFC this season. I know it sounds far-fetched. For Geno Smith to be the second best quarterback in any conference in NFL history, but this might be the year. So all this put together, the NFL is afraid of the Seattle Seahawks.